So the important thing of the day, this is our last day, is the weather. So good old BBC News weather. Lots of cloud, but no rain. Hooray. We're all just getting the maps ready. Bags are packed. And it's looking quite bright. And believe it or not, it's quarter to eight on Bank Holiday Monday. So, so we're actually starting day one. We're off on our way. Oh, he's gone the other way around the camera. So it's west, south south west. Spot on. No. Not that way, Brett. Not that way. That way. Yep. Old Roman Road. Wait for me! It's a beautiful countryside. It's so much better than yesterday. When we're through ploughed fields. Obviously with, we're in fields at the moment, but just harvested and uh, solid underfoot. It's um, good walking, interesting countryside as well, just some rolls as opposed to yesterday which was dead flat and trees. So uh, yeah, looking forward to today. It's going to be a big one, 25, 26 miles today. So uh, um, oh, it's Roger's bottom. Oh, fine sight. Um, yeah, meeting up with Roger's sister, Sarah, uh, at the end of the day. We should be good, and then train back to Maidenhead and Marlow. So. Here we go. Through the gate, and it's quite a thick wall. We're in. A lot better day. A lot more interesting. Now, try not to get lost in all the myriad of paths around here. Roger just checking out the route. Running the route across because as you see there's not much detail in the landscape as to where we head for so in case of get the compass out and head on but it's beautiful <laughs> here we are going across the top of the uh, Blenheim Park Grim Ditch oh just there we've got this line of double trees Don't you have a degree in botany? Oh, marine bot. And all the way down there, I'll try and zoom in. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble. All feeling a bit seasick. It's all going to get a bit pixely. Down there is Victory Column from Blenheim, Battle of Blenheim, I think, believe. So yes, it's a lovely morning. A little chilly. But there's Roger. I'm going to catch him up. Right, off we go. It's cool wind, so we need the jackets on. But when the wind drops and the sun gets on your back, then it warms up a bit. This is lovely. Lovely countryside. Ah, this is a better view. What victory column? It's a double line. Ah, now I understand. Now I see what we're looking at. Young lambs on road, the sign says. Does that make Roger a young lamb? I don't think so. I'm wandering around. There we are, there's Victory Column. That makes more sense. And off we go. Just coming out of the Great Park, across the Shakespeare Way, and up, out over the walls again. So no nice little gate, but 
some steps up and over. Hmm. Happy? Well, hopes it goes through the wood. Probably does. Right. Okay. Off, okay. Let's go. Go down here. Cross the line of red. <laughs> now we're getting into the Cotswold Hills. Hey, very dingly dell. A buzzard flying around overhead. You can make it probably tiny in the picture. Uh, it's flying away. There we are, here's Roger stuffing his face with bacon and sausage butty. And here's my bacon and sausage butty, it's quite huge. Let's get it in focus, there we are. Is that focus? Don't know. And that's our view. We've had one runner and one high-speed walker in pink Wellington boots go past, listening to her iPod, which was quite funny. There we are. Anyway, we're, ha we're having a jolly time. Um, and the sun is out. The wind has dropped a bit, so it's warmed up. So, there we are. This is Charlbury. There's a Cotswold stone. Here we have on the hill some English long horn. by six o'clock so it's, uh, it's a bit faster going than I would like but um, we're pushing on uh, it's uh, interesting to be able to push the body like this certainly for me uh, I think this is Roger's standard rate of walking but uh, it's good exercise I certainly think I'm losing weight so um, there we go up to the next aisle. This is the bread basket of England. Well, it seems like it. Just a sea of cornfields. Nearly at lunch was the Eden Laurel. Even load. Even load. Lunch. Soon. Soon lunch. Lunch food. Soup. Beer. Mm, soup. Beer. Soup. Beer. Soup. Beer. Soup. Beer. Soup. Beer. Soup. Beer. Here we are at the Ascot under Witchwood railway station. And there's the signal box. Worcester that way. Oxford and Paddington that way and the Swan Inn this way very picturesque very lovely we went to the Lamb not the uh, Swan apparently so I've just got 
beer. Swine beer. One o'clock. Yeah. Oh. Do you know where Roger's going? See, I seem to be heading for a tree. Right. Next stop, the pub, unless there's something lovely in between. So, church here, and um, we're going to go to the Swan. <laughs> we just walked around the village. <laughs> ah, I see the Swan. The Swan. We took the long route to the Swan. Marvellous. Here we go. They've got to have soup. Soup. Soup and beer. Is it open? It looks very closed. Don't know. <laughs> Maybe we're just going to have chocolate bars. Ah, car's coming. Right. Off we go. What's it? What's occurring? So the Swan is now closed. I think it's the Lamb in Chipton and the Witchwood, which is the next village. Right. I get a skate on. Right. Off we go. Oh, I need my soup and beer. Soup and beer. Oh, mm, nice house with smelly bonfire. This is the main line. Off we go. Thank you, Roger, kind sir. Okay. All shut. Roger's now directing traffic and playing with bollards. So you managed to get a volunteer for doing the bollards? <laughs> right, we're in Shipton, heading for the lamb. Soup and beer! Um, we're a little bit off piste, but hey, we'll get there in the end. Hopefully it will be open. Anyway, forwards. On we go. Well, here we are in the lamb, it's car park, and yesterday we had an old Bugatti, an old Alpha today, and the bull nose Morris. Quite appropriate since it's an Oxford Morris. There you go. There's me. Around. So very smart. It's worth a few bob, I would imagine. And round to the pub. Very splendid. Quite expensive, but hey, what the heck? Final lunchtime at the Lamb. Looking at the feet. Not bad so far. Certainly not as bad as they were last year. Oh, you've got to show people your feet. Feet is important. It's all part of part of walking because with feet are the most important thing when walking. You know, that seems rather strange, but there we are. So um, yes, this time changing socks and slimy stuff and the thousand mile socks they were pretty good, so I would recommend those. Um, but so far so good. <clears throat> so here is the evidence of soup. Well, actually beef. beef Beef, broth, and beer. And Roger's enjoying his. How good is this beef, beef broth? Keep away. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, Shipton Grange. Very nice pile on the edge of the Cotswolds. And this is a Roger Bradley. Oh, it's a typical little. It's a lovely little place, isn't it? Yeah, it's a huge great Alsatian outside. Ah, yes, I suppose if we went any closer, he would bite your bottom. Right, I'll catch you up, or you catch me up, because I'm, I'm going very slowly. For some reason, after, after lunch, or any time we stop, my muscles decide to lock up. And I walk like a 90-year-old, until after about 100 yards, and they begin to free up, and I can actually move. But, um, there we are. There we are, I've taken a couple of ibuprofen. <laughs> to get through this afternoon. Anyway, onwards. Where's the next? Oh, look at him! Look at him! Look at him go! That's what I've got to deal with. How do I keep up with something like that? Right, out into the fields again. Last nine miles. Proper Cotswold country. This wonderful, very windy though. Wind across the microphone. So we're heading in. That
that sort of direction. Just through the woods to another style and oh, a very fine country house. Now guys, do you want to make a run for it? <laughs> very good. What's this place called? Something Abbey? Ruin. Ruin Abbey. C-R-E-U-N. Fantastic. Well, we're just coming up to the Darcy Dalton Way. Whatever that is. Yes. There we are, and the road down to the big house. And on. Anyway, we're going this way, along the Oxfordshire Way. Uh, here we are, walking through Bleddington, uh, past the, uh, the new builds and the originals, very nice, Jasmine Cottage. We've uh, just coming up to the church now, just been past uh, Roger's mum's place. Um, and it's still looking well kept. This is a lovely village. We're doing a good cracking pace. The painkillers are doing a really good job. So, um, yeah, hopefully for um, Burton on the water for um, six o'clock. These are lovely places. The church. Afternoon. This is a lovely church. Hi there. Yeah? Right. Well, and off we go. Right, onwards. Suddenly, we're going to Gloucestershire. We're still on the Oxfordshire Way, if that makes sense. So, we're here on the Oxfordshire Way. Ah, we're going this way. Hi, Pete, Pete, hi, it's Roger here. Um, we we were we're we're basically at Bleddington, so we're walking through to Broughton on the Water. And Sarah said she kindly come and pick us up. Yeah, well, we've got about we're, we're actually moving quite fast at the moment. So we've got, I reckon it's five miles from Bleddington to Borton in the water. Um, but uh, what we, there's a bit of a hill around Wick Rissington. So I reckon we'll probably be two hours, possibly less. But what we could do is, I don't know how long it takes you to get there. Wick Rissington is a mile away. So that should take us 15 minutes. So should we give you a ring when we get to Wick Rissington? Yeah, well, we can sit there and, uh, you know, get our shoes off and things like that. So we'll give you a ring when we get to Wick Risington then. Yeah, but we're, we're kind of looking at four, looking at just before six o'clock. Okay. See you later. Bye. Right. Good. All cool. up for it? Yeah. All right. Look, if you look at this. Mm-hmm. Just says that uh, Oxfordshire way. Right. If you look at the map, there's Bellington. Yeah, it's true. Can't see because I haven't got my glasses on. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you've got the church yeah, there. Yeah. And then you come out of there. Straight through the fields. And you go this way. West. I know it doesn't look much on the video, but that ridge line over there is what we're going up. It's about 150 meters. It's 250 meters high. We're at about. 100, 130 perhaps. Okay, so about 100 meters high, climbing. So um, yeah, up that hill, down the other side, a mile or so across the flat plain, finish. We need to end Now part way up the hill, nice little pile in the distance. Looks fairly, well, 30s maybe. Across the valley. And 
then round past the bush and up we go up the hill right we've just done a big climb and come up over the top yeah and down there is Morton on the water Burton Burton on the water I'll get it right oh, the final day. hill all the way down how are you feeling Roger good yes very good yes it's quite something how many miles have we done so far 23 and a half 23 and a half since eight o'clock this morning it's now quarter past five that's quite some going um thank god for painkillers that's all i can say this is wick risington church with a brand new roof by the looks of things and very well kept churchyard local diocese has obviously spent a bit of bit of cash i think there's a bit of cash in this village well looked after and um, down to what I assume is the vicarage or the old vicarage very pleasant Oxfordshire Way footpath oh we're spot on spot on up the hill there there we are shut the gate more of Wick Rissington I don't think the tourists know about this place, but it's gorgeous. Well, now it's going to be on YouTube and the world's going to see it. Oh, there's our campers in the field. I know it's horses. <laughs> I'm getting delusional and delirious and lovely. Very dedicated grass cutting. God knows where the driver is, but he's in there somewhere. That's where we came down by the, the between the cornfield, the light fawn coloured filmed and the green field down those trees down there. And then we've come out across through Wick Rissington to here. And a mile to go this way. Nearly there. How am I feeling? I'm actually feeling a lot better than I thought I would. Um, feet, feet are pretty good. Few little blisters but changing the socks three times or every three hours two three hours really has done the trick um thousand mile socks good um painkillers good um yeah uh we're just coming up to a nice little brook what's the name of this brook roger it doesn't have, it doesn't have a name brett's brook. brook here we are Oh, what a lovely sound. Okay. Righto. Right, we're coming into Burton, Burton on the water. We're here basically. Six o'clock, just gone. Um, had a little final detour in. Um, slightly lost the path. And oh, here we are. Come on, Roger, let's have a look. Oxfordshire Way. Hopefully, there might be a big sign so we can all have our photographs taken by it. But uh, how am I feeling? I've said that before. I'm still feeling great. I'm feeling even better now because I can stop soon. Anyway, I'll talk to you when I get to the water's edge and a beer in my hand. Ah, here it is. It doesn't say the end. We'll find not. ah here we go. What's this down here? It might be here. We're gonna have a look. Try and find a sign for the Oxfordshire Way. This could be it. Is this it? Don't know. Well we're here. Half in the kings? Is that a question or an order? What a quick half in the kings is a definite must. Oh, 
looks beautiful. Made it beer time. Here we are. Oh, that's a better shot. Pint. Brought some of the water. Roger. I'll tell you your thoughts on this trip. That's good. Yes? <laughs> it's good. That's where you heard it from, Roger Bradley. It's good. Good to be so here. So yes, um, the pint is very good. Uh, my feet are very good. Um, the bag was very good. Thank you, Mandy, uh, for lending me your bag. Um, <coughs> it is a Berghaus something or other with a camel back inside which I actually finished for the first time today ran out of water so that's three liters of water um, weather was kind to us today and uh, what else what else can we say the countryside was was okay it was good today thoroughly enjoyed the countryside today um, no horrible plowed fields and <coughs> it was good walking good walking interesting some lovely villages one big hill um, yeah. Uh, would I recommend the Oxfordshire Way to people? Um, yes, I think I would. I would. The middle day, the middle bit across the Oxfordshire Plain, not great, but there are some good bits about that. So as long as you're ready for the boring bits, then the other bits, the, this Cotswolds bit and the, the Chilterns bits, uh, are very good. So that's it, really. Waiting for Roger's sister to pick us up and then some food and home. So, uh, yeah, there we are. Signing off. Bye. Say goodbye, Roger. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>